All right, we're going to demonstrate using the NPV function to calculate the present value of cash flows uh, that are uneven. All right, so you're given a set of cash flows. For instance, uh, Plan A here has cash flows of forty-five twenty-three in year one, three thousand twelve in year two, seventy-seven ninety-five in year three, and sixty-two fifty-nine in year four. Using a discount rate of eleven and a quarter percent, what's the present value? All right, so the easiest way to do these is to use the NPV function. NPV stands for present value of uneven cash flows. You need the cash flows, you need a discount rate. Okay, and for plan A, it's 11.25%. So the NPV function equals NPV, open parents, cover up the interest rate, and cover up the cash flows. And it's that simple. All right, plan B uses a discount rate of 9.75%. Notice that this set of cash flows is zero in year one, two, and three. You don't get paid anything. And then you start receiving money at the end of year four. You need to put a zero in there as a placeholder because otherwise Excel wouldn't wouldn't know what you meant. Uh, it doesn't know which of these is year one, two, or three. It goes in order. The first dollar amount it sees is year one, year two, year three, and so forth. When you have blank cells like we did here in A, Excel ignores those. All right, so use the same function equals NPV open parents and it's rate and then where you see it's value one, value two, value three just go in there and cover up all the cash flows and it's really that simple in C we're using 8.35 as the discount rate Interest rate, comma, then cover up the cash flows. And we're using 12.5% for Plan D. Now note Plan D is $1,000 each and every month. I can solve for that using the NPV function. 12.5%, then cover this... 10 payments of $1,000 each, or I could have used the NIPVFE payment functions that we've been using so far. The number of periods for D would be 10, 10 payments. The rate would be 12.50%. The PV is what I'm solving for. The FV would be zero and the PMT would be 1,000. So if I solve for equal PV open parents and then use the answer box here, that would be 12.5%. The number of periods is 10. Payment is 1,000. Future value is 0. And I hit the go button. I'm going to get the same answer. Notice though that when you use the NPV function it doesn't require a positive or a negative number. All right? And then with this one if I put negative 1000 then I'd come up with a positive. All right? And this number is actually not $10, it's actually 10 years. Okay, so it's the same calculation same dollar calculation here, we're able to use these functions only when the PMT is the same every period. But we can use the NPV function anytime you can use this, you can use NPV, but you can also use NPV when the payments are not the same each and every period.